Hello guys, what is up? Midward here and welcome to this guide on how to heal Sanctum of Domination as a Benthid Holy Paladin. Much like we did with the Season 2 Mythic Plus guide, we'll be analyzing everything there is to know about this. And we'll also have a little special section where we'll analyze CD timings and usages for the different bosses in the raid in Heroic and Mythic difficulties based on the top logs from Warcraft Logs. So if you guys are enjoying this already, please drop a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And I'm also streaming on, twi on twitch.tv slash midwayeu, so if you're interested in watching live, please check that out. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Now when it comes down to talents, the main choice here is gonna depend on what legendary you're playing. If you are playing Marath's, you will be playing Double Beacon, and if you are playing Shock Barrier, then you will be picking Glimmer. But you can still make a choice in the first row. Now all the options here are perfectly playable and fine, they all do the respectable amount of healing. I would personally pick Light's Hammer for the sake of throughput, but if the fight is short enough then you can might as well go ahead and pick Crusader's Might as well. Um, Bestow Faith is also very good, it gives a lot of free holy power, although it's a bit clunky to play with. Now all the other options on the different rows are basically made for you because the talents we are usually picking there are just really really strong and they don't really have any competition of course besides the cc row where you can pick whatever usually it doesn't really matter there in terms of legendaries for healing after going over the logs for every single boss in heroic and mythic i can safely say that you could pick either of shock barrier or morads they are both doing really strong healing but there is clearly a switch towards Morath's once you start hitting bosses like uh, Painsmith and on. So we'll see about that a little bit later on. But your choices are there. It's Morath's for more spot healing or Shock Barrier for just more raw HPS without having to change anything on your playstyle. And of course, for just the sake of damage, you will be playing Map Paragon. That's the same as we used to do before. Nothing really changed in that scenario. In terms of gearing and shards, you obviously want to have all the shards, uh, the unholy shards, so you have that full unholy set for the sake of proccing the massive int buff out of those. Um, the rest of the shards, you want to have the leech one and the, the big shield one, the frost one, those are just big free HPS. In terms of gearing and stats, you obviously want a lot of haste. Haste is the biggest HPS increase for us holy paladins. And then second comes mastery followed by burst and crit. Uh, mastery and burst can be a bit interchangeable depending on the fight whether or not you're gonna be more stacked or less stacked and you can also play around with the level of haste you have trying to always get to the point where you are not going um at the end of the fight but also kind of making the most out of your mana so there's always a little bit of game to be made with that in terms of the sockets you could switch around from like haste gems and like haste engines to mastery or verse even depending on what i already said if you are going kind of um or if you feel like you have way too much haste way too much mastery way too much verse there's nothing that's set on stone but usually the biggest hps increase is just gonna be haste so if you are fine with your mana go for as much haste as you can Obviously, enchants, you go for the Lich one, is the biggest HPS increase, primary stats, intellect, and then what I already said. In terms of trinkets, the Shadow Orb of Torment is just so good because it lines up perfectly with our wings, has a 2 minute cooldown just like wings, and it's a lot of mastery, so what we want to be doing is basically popping that and then we pop wings, or if we're gonna be dropping action, we just drop action first. Um, that's basically our best option. Then there is a couple choices to be made as well. Well, not really a couple. You could play Titan Ocular Gland. Most people are playing Titan Ocular Gland for uh, basically the entire tier. But if you get lucky and you get a 252 changing, that's slightly above uh, the Titan Ocular Gland according to Question of the Epic. So that's also something you can play. Rest of the gear, just get the biggest item level, get the mm, best stats you can. In terms of uh, Legendary, of course, I'm playing my rats now, but you can play that in Stroke Barrier, we already talked about that. And that's pretty much it, you just want to be getting the, the slots for the, the shards, and uh, just get the best stats you can try and get. It comes down to Soulbinds and Conduits, for us Venthyr Holy Paladins there is a very clear choice here and that is Theotard. 
that is because of this little soulbind trait token of appreciation which does a lot of healing passively now in terms of the conduits there is a couple choices to be made and it's gonna depend on basically what legendary you are playing if you are playing rats you will be picking the light of the martyr conduit so you can switch around whether you want uh, you could switch adaptive armor fragment or focus light for it i would never take away hallow discernment so i'm not sure which of this is the strongest it's going to play obviously on your playstyle. i would personally switch away focus light for the uh, the light of the martyr conduit if you're playing Marats. but if you are playing shock barrier then you want to be playing what i already had here slotted in which is basically focused light in terms of the finesse conduit i prefer lights barring over echoing blessings it's just much more uh, much stronger for your personal movement speed there is a lot of raid wide movement speed increases so might as well use those instead of whatever benefit you will get from echoing blessings which is pretty minor so instead rather run with light sparting and in terms of the endurance conduits i prefer golden path uh, versus um, shield and words even when it comes down to condensed animosphere versus shield and wards i think i'd rather run condensed animosphere and that is because uh, shielding wards is just not gonna have that much value especially if you are not using that much water glory so in a raid environment you might use a couple shielding wards or rather water glories here and there but it is not what you are wa going to want to do usually you will always spend all your holy power in a lights of dawn anyway so yeah the benefit from that conduit will be kind of minor whereas condensed animosphere will at least always provide a stable amount of hps increase or more survivability on yourself so this is the tree that i would personally recommend playing but the choices are there to be made you can switch around this as you feel like I would just keep all those potency slots as it is here or if you feel like or if you are playing Marats then switching around either of these with which you prefer for um, the Marats conduit instead for example like that um, but yeah, that's the choices here to be made in terms of soul lines and conduits All right, so the way this is gonna work is, well, I did go through the logs and I looked at the top 10 Holy Paladin logs for each one of the bosses in Heroic and Mythic. And out of those top 10s, whichever was a Benthyr Holy Paladin, I did take into account in this data. And what I did with this data is I collected a bunch of information, namely what Covenant they're playing, obviously, what Shrinkers are playing, what Soulwind they're playing, what Talons are playing, what Legendary they're playing, when they are using Ashen and when they are using Wings. So basically the idea is for you to know what's, uh, what are the top loggers for each one of the bosses in these two difficulties doing in order to get the biggest throughput. And this is sort of a padding guide on how to maximize your HPS, but let's be honest guys, these skills on the top logs are usually speed kills and they are under healing. That means they are healing with like only two healers and they are killing the boss in like an abnormally short amount of time because of this and also usually they are just like blasting the bosses and having a lot of gear and just they're just very good players so don't expect to get insane amounts of hps by just doing what i'm gonna say here but take it more as a guideline of how to play correctly these bosses So out of the top 10 healing logs for the Targru in both Heroic and Mythic, you can see there's a pretty even spread between Kyrians and Benthyrs. And out of the Benthyrs, they are all running Theotar and most of them are playing Crusade the Smite, whereas also most of them are playing Shock Barrier. In terms of Trinkets, there's usually a combination of either of these three, usually involving the Orb and either Gland or Changeling, but there's also quite a bit of Gland and Changeling, so either of them works. Now, in terms of cooldowns, Ashen and Wings, most uh, Holy Paladins, Benthyr ones in particular, they are dropping Ashen around 40 or 50 seconds into the fight and using Wings either on pull and when they come off CD or save them up to sync them up with Ashen. I think they are saving Ashen up until the mist is done, just like you're seeing on screen right now. The first one comes and then you drop Ashen or just, just drop Ashen on pull. There's also a couple Benthyr Paladins that are dropping Ashen like 10 seconds on pull. That's when the first dots start ticking. So either of those timings seem to be working just nice.
So on the other jailer, it seems to be that on Heroic and Mythic, the stats are pretty much the same. There is 7 Benthir and 3 Kyrian for both those difficulties. And out of those 7 Benthirs, 5 of them are using Light's Hammer, whereas only 2 are using Crusade Smite. In terms of Legendaries, there is a pretty even spread. And in terms of Trinkets, it's always a combination of Gland and something else. Now, when it comes to Ashen and Wings, in Heroic, they are mix and matching a little bit here and there. They're most of the time using it on pull or very early to pull. Some people are using it a bit later, whereas with Wings, they are either match with Ashen or some people have decided to use Wings as a separate CD separated from Ashen. It seems to work just because the damage is not too intensive really ever, especially in Heroic. Whereas in Mythic, most people are dropping Ashen on pull and then just using wings with Ashen and when they come off CD. On the 9 it seems like the Benthir have taken over and in particularly Mythic a lot more people are playing Marats. So for everybody that's playing Marats there will also be playing Light's Hammer and the ones that are playing Shock Barrier are playing Crusader's Might. In terms of Trinkets those three always a good combination no matter which two you choose. In terms of CDs, it seems like on Heroic there is quite a few options, but most people are waiting at around 1 minute to drop their first action, and some people are choosing to go with it a little bit later. When it comes down to Wings, most people are using it together with Ashen, and some people are using it as a separate CD, just like back in the eye. Now in Mythic, most people are dropping Ashen on pull or very shortly after pull and using Wings with Ashen and then on CD, whereas one person is choosing to instead use Ashen a little bit later and use their Wings on pull and then save them back for their first Ashen. As we get to Soul Render, Benthir is completely dominating Mythic, whereas most people are also playing Benthir and Heroic. In terms of Legendaries, Marats is kinda even with Shock Barrier or Mythic and kinda dominating in Heroic. Everybody that's playing Marats, it's playing Light's Hammer. And some people that are playing Shock Barrier are actually switching to Light's Hammer, probably because of mana issues. In terms of CD usages and Heroic, most people are dropping Ashen 1 minute and 15 seconds into the fight, some people are dropping it a little bit earlier, and they are all using Wings with Ashen and then on CD. In Mythic, some people drop it on pull, some people wait until 1 minute to drop Ashen, I think that's when the first set of chains happens, and then they're using their second set of Ashen at 4 minutes 20 or 5 minutes 20 or 6 minutes 20, that is most likely a next set of uh, chains that they are being assigned to, and they are all using Wings together with Ashen and then on CD. In our show there's still a lot more Benthir than Kyrian and there is a pretty even spread of Marats and Shock Barrier. Everybody that's playing Marats is playing Light's Hammer and some people that are playing Shock Barrier are actually switching more mana friendly options than Crusader's Might instead looking for Light's Hammer or even Bestow Faith. In terms of Trinkets, same as always, pretty even spread between those three. City-wise, it is all over the place when it comes down to dropping Ashen on Heroic. That is because this fight has so much damage going on that there is no one single best spot to drop Ashen. It's gonna depend on your own judgment and whatever comp you are playing with. Using Wings with Ashen usually is the play, but some people are choosing not to do that and use it as a separate CD. On Mythic, most people drop Ashen either on pull or 30 seconds into the fight, depending on whether or not they will get a second Ashen whereas one person is dropping Ashen at 2 minutes 30 into the fight. Now most people are using Wings with Ashen and then on CD, whereas the one person that's dropping Ashen at 2 minutes 30 uses Wings on pull and then waits. As we get to Painsmith you can start really seeing the power of Marats and the big HPS that it provides when there is heavy spot healing to be done. Pretty much everybody here is playing Benthir and Light's Hammer to go along with Morass. Trinket wise, same as always, those three trinkets, you can combinate them as you want. In terms of cooldowns, in Heroic people are dropping Ashen at either 40 seconds into the fight or 20 seconds and using their second Ashen at around 440, that is usually when you come out of the second intermission, always using Wings with Ashen and then on CD. Whereas in Mythic, everybody is using Ashen at 40 second mark and then using their second one at different spots once they are done with the intermissions, depending on where the cooldowns have been assigned to. Always using Wings with Ashen on CD as they come out of the intermission most likely at around 3 minutes and then with Ashen again. In 
Guardian we can still see a lot more vent here than Kyrian and quite a bit more usage of Marats over Shock Barrier. Everybody that is using Marats will also be using Light Hammer and some of the people that are using Shock Barrier will gravitate away from Crusader's Might for the mana intensity and instead choose other more mana friendly options like Light Hammer or even Bestow Faith. In terms of CDs, since you really only get one action in Heroic, people are dropping it a bit all over the place trying to find the best spot for it, although most people are dropping it early on and a few are waiting a little bit deeper into the fight. Basically everybody is using Ashen with uh, Wings at the same time and then Wings on CD. Those that are waiting with Ashen a little bit longer are using Wings on Pull. On Mythic everybody pretty much uses either Ashen on Pull or waits until the first pillar activates and they use Wings with Ashen, then on CD and then with Ashen again if they get a second Ashen. On Fatescraft we can still see a lot more vent here than Kyrian and quite a bit more people playing Marats, if not everybody playing Marats in Mythic over Shock Barrier and playing Light's Hammer to go along with it. Some people in Mythic choosing to go with the Stole Faith for some reason. For cooldowns people are dropping Ashen at around the 40 second mark and their second Ashen at some point in the last phase depending on how quickly they are killing the boss, always using the first set of wings with the first Ashen, the second set on CD and the last set being delayed a little bit to sync it up with their second Ashen. On Mythic people are dropping their first set of Ashen on pool or at the 40 second mark and their second one with Lust or past the 4 minute 30 second mark and using wings together with Ashen then on CD and then depending Depending on when they are dropping their second Ashen, either another set of wings on CD and the last one just always with Ashen. In KT there's an overwhelming or absolute majority of Venthyr over Kyrian and most people are playing Marats before Shock Barrier. As well as always, people that are playing Marats will be playing Light's Hammer and some people that are playing Shock Barrier will also opt into playing Light's Hammer for more mana efficiency. For CDs and Heroic, the great majority are dropping Ashen at the 2 minute mark and using Wings on pull and then using them again together with Ashen. A few are using Ashen a little bit earlier for both their first and second Ashen. On Mythic though, this data might actually be outdated at this point because of the changes that the boss underwent, but here's the data anyways. Most people are dropping their first Ashen at the 20 to 40 second mark and a few are doing it a little bit later, whereas the second Ashen is mostly being used at the 440 minute mark or a little bit later with Lust, some other people are doing it at some point in between. Most people are using Wings with Ashen, then on CD and then again either with Ashen or they might get to have another use of Wings before they actually get to drop their final Ashen. On Sylvanas everybody is playing Benthyr and Marats on Mythic and on Heroic there is still quite some more Benthyr but there is a bit more balance between Marats and Shock Barrier. Great deal of people are playing Light's Hammer, as always everybody that's playing Marats will be playing Light's Hammer and some of the people that are playing Shock Barrier will also choose Light's Hammer. City wise Sylvanas is quite messy on Heroic, some people are getting 3 Ashens, some other are getting 2. The ones that are getting 2 Ashens are dropping it at 4 minutes and at 9 minutes and they are using Wings on Pool and then again on CD and then with Ashen, then CD, then again with Ashen. Those that are getting 3 Ashens though are dropping their first Ashen at 50 seconds to 1 minute in the first phase. Their second Ashen is during the intermission at the 7 minute mark usually, some do a little bit earlier in some of the earlier breaches. And then the third Ashen is usually dropped at the 11 minute mark or at the 9 minute mark. Their first set of wings is usually used with Ashen, the second one at the 4 minute mark, the third one with Ashen, fourth one around 8.30 and the fifth one with Ashen. Mythic we can see a little bit more of a pattern, the first Ashen is usually being dropped at the 1 minute mark, the second one is usually being dropped at the 5 minute 30 second mark, some save a little bit later, third Ashen usually dropped at 9 minutes 40 or at 11.30 and wings are being used with Ashen and then on CD then again with the Ashens when they come back up or some people use wings 30 seconds into the fight and then with Ashen then on CD then with Ashen depending on if they are dropping Ashen at 1 minute or if they are saving up until a little bit later into the first phase. 
So that is the end of the video guys, I hope you found it useful, I will leave down in the description some links to some paste bins where I put all the notes that I took while analyzing the data from the logs. And yeah, I really appreciate you watching the video, please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you want to watch live on Twitch, I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash midwayeu. And yeah, I'll see you next time, bye bye, thank you.